Hi, Dave Lee from the FLIR Delta Drone Thermal Imaging Series. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the new Duo Pro R. For this video, I'll use the bench cable that comes with the Duo Pro R, but the same steps apply if you're using the included integration cable. The integration cable is just much more flexible, so it works better with brushless gimbals, and it'll be easier to cut to length if you need to. Let's get started. First, connect the 10-pin JST connector to the camera, and make sure you hear it click in place. Next, connect the yellow RCA plug to a monitor if you want to use the analog video output, or you can use a micro HDMI cable if you want to look at the HDMI video. Keep in mind that you can't use both video outputs simultaneously. If the camera detects outputs on both sources, it will default to the HDMI signal. Now we can power the camera. The bench cable comes with the power leads terminated in an XT60 connector, so just plug your battery in. The Duo Pro R takes 5 to 26 volts, so you can use up to a 6S battery, and it has reverse polarity protection. For this demonstration, I'm using a 4S LiPo. As soon as you plug the battery in, the two LED lights on the front of the camera will come on. The flashing red light indicates that the camera's booting up. You'll also be able to hear the cooling fan start, and after a few seconds, the two lights will glow steady green and blue, and the camera will beep three times. That's your signal that the camera is initialized and is ready to go. The green light will change to red once you hit the record button, and the blue light indicates that the internal Bluetooth transmitter is on and you can connect to the FLIR UAS mobile app. If this light turns green, just press the Bluetooth button on the top of the camera to turn Bluetooth back on again. By the way, if you hear the camera making a clicking sound, that's just the thermal camera performing its automated calibration called a flat field correction, and it's completely normal. At that point, you can turn your monitor on to see the image out of the camera. If you want to control camera functions in flight, you'll have to use the FLIR UAS mobile app to configure the camera's three PWM connections. I set these up so that I can use my controller to start and stop recording, change color palettes, and change my video display mode between thermal, visible, and picture-in-picture, -picture, but there are lots of other options you can choose from. These are just the ones I'm going to demonstrate. First, look at the camera and confirm that Bluetooth is on. Next, open the app, select the camera, and wait for the app to connect. Select Settings in the upper right corner. Tap the Controller tab. Make sure Serial Protocol is set for PWM. Under PWM1, tap Function 1. Select Record Start Stop. You'll see settings for states. That just means the number of settings or switch positions you can assign. Since this function only needs two positions, Start and Stop, we're going to set states to two. And confirm that one is Start and one is stop recording. Next, I'll move to PWM2, select IR color palette, confirm that it has three states because I've got this set to a three position switch, and set those to white hot, black hot, and iron bow. Finally, I'll scroll down to PWM3 and set that up as display video mode with three states. And I like to have the first one be IR, the middle be visible, and the third to be picture in picture. I've already set up my radio and mapped these functions to the proper switches, so all it's left to do is confirm that everything's working. Connect the servo connectors to the appropriate outputs on your receiver, power the receiver, and flip the switches to make sure things are working the way you want. And that's all there is to it. Fly safe. I'll see you next time.